Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an interesting trigonometric equation. We have sine of tangent of x equals cosine of cotangent of x. And we're going to be solving for x values. We're also going to be taking a look at some results from Wolfram well, Alpha as well as Desmos. All right, great. Let's see how we can solve this problem. We have done a similar problem before with sine, cosine, and cosine, sine. Now we have two different functions. But sine and cosine, you can actually find the relationship between them by considering the following. If you have two angles that are complementary, then this is true. And pi over 2 minus x and co x are actually complementary because they add up to pi over 2. So that's one of the relationships we can use. Another one is cosine pi over 2 minus x will give you the same thing as sine x. Same thing, you're just switching them around. All right, so which one should we use? No big deal, we can just use one of these. So let's do the following. Let's use the first one and turn cosine into sine by using this identity. So suppose this is alpha, I'm going to go ahead and replace that with sine of pi over 2 minus alpha. So let me make that clear one more time. I have cosine of alpha and I'm going to write it as sine of pi over 2 minus alpha. And that's an identity, right? Great. So the left hand side is sine of tangent x. And the right hand side will be turned into sine of pi over 2 minus alpha and alpha in this case happens to be cotangent of x okay i hope you don't mind i'm not using the parentheses even though i use them originally in the thumbnail and here now what do you do with this you have something like sine alpha equals sine beta what is the general solution right so whenever you have an equation like sine alpha equals sine beta then we can talk about two things either alpha is the same as beta of course there should be a multiple of 2 by added or alpha can be pi minus beta because we know that in 2 pi n we know that if two angles are supplementary then their signs are equal right think about the unit circle the first and the second quadrants or the third and fourth is going to give you two different angles whose sign is the same okay cool so let's go ahead and apply that strategy or formula to this problem. We're going to go ahead and write two cases. First case, tangent x equals pi over 2 minus cotangent x. Make sense? Great. Let's see how we can solve this problem first. But don't forget the 2 pi n. So let's go ahead and add that. 2 pi n, where n is an integer, right? I forgot to say that earlier. Now, let's go ahead and see what, how we can solve this problem. First of all, let's put the tangent and cotangent on the same side. Right? And then we're going to get something like this. And then we should be solving for x, but we have a tangent and a cotangent, but they're reciprocals. So I can write it as tangent x plus 1 over tangent x equals this. And I can ba basically multiply everything by tangent x and turn this into a quadratic. But let's go ahead and call this c. c is a constant. And then once we multiply, we get tangent squared plus 1 equals c tangent x. Hopefully you see what I see. Tangent squared x minus c tangent x plus 1 equals 0. And now we're going to use the quadratic formula. Tangent x equals negative b, which is c, right? plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4. Awesome. The only requirement we have is c must be greater than or equal to 2 or less than or equal to negative 2. But what is c? Great. Good question. Let's go ahead and take a look. c is pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And again, we want c squared minus 4 to be greater than or equal to 0, which means c is either greater than or equal to 2 or less than or equal to negative 2, right? So let's see if our c values are going to satisfy these. And it's an or, so if one of them is satisfied, we're good. Let's look on the positive side. Like if n is equal to 0, we get c equals pi over 2, right? 
And pi over 2, as you know, is 3.14 divided by 2 is not greater than or equal to 2. It's less than 2. So for n equals 0, we're not going to get a solution. But if n is equal to 1, then we get c equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi, which is definitely greater than 2. So we got a solution. Let's go ahead and take a look at that solution particularly. So in this case, c is going to be 5 pi over 2, right? And that's definitely going to be greater than 5 even. So tangent x is equal to that, right? How do you solve that equation? Tangent x is equal to c plus minus the square root of c squared minus 4 over 2. So obviously, from here, you're going to be doing the inverse tangent or the arc tangent. Let's just go ahead and use the positive value like this. And we can go ahead and arc tan both sides. And that should give us arc tan of this expression equals x. And we were looking for x, so that should give us an idea. But what is c? c is 5 pi over 2. So if you go ahead and plug it in and, oops, that's not what I meant, but anyways. So if you go ahead and plug it in, and then obviously you're going to get the solutions from there. There's a lot of complications that we need to go through, but I just wanted to show you the main idea. This is the first branch. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second branch, which involves which involves subtracting one of these angles. In this case, we can call this beta, I guess, and this one alpha from pi. So let's go ahead and do that, okay? Second case, tangent x equals, and in this case, we have basically, uh, let me write it down one more time. Oh yes, this angle we're gonna subtract from pi. So it's gonna give us pi minus pi over two plus. So it's just gonna be the same thing with a plus sign. Pi over two plus cotangent x, right? Because it's pi minus pi over two minus cotangent x, right? And then plus two pi n. Any integer will fine, you know, any integer will be fine. And now we're going to put the tangent and cotangent together. And guess what that's going to give us? That's going to give us another quadratic equation, which we can solve. And from here, we can find the tangent value. And now from there, we can find the x value. But again, we're going to do something similar. Suppose n is equal to 1 again. And this is going to be the 5 pi over 2. And then from here, you can just set it equal to t. t minus 1 over t is equal to 5 pi over 2. And multiply everything by t. t squared minus 5 pi over 2 t minus 1 equals 0. And then this will be a quadratic equation. And you can kind of solve it with the quadratic formula again, right? And that will give you negative b. This time, we're kind of working with a numerical value, which is nice plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 25 pi squared over 4, minus 4 ac, but this time it's going to be a plus sign. So under the radical, we're actually good. Make sense? And obviously, this is tangent x. And if you want the x values, you're going to look at the arc tangent. But here's the problem. Whenever you're given tangent x equals, let's say, 3, right? And when you say x is equal to arc tangent of 3, this only gives you one solution. But we know that there are two solutions. How do you find the other solution? Well, you can do that. You know that if tangent is positive, the smallest angle is going to be in the first quadrant. If you just add pi to it, then you're going to have another angle who, whose tangent is the same. So in other words, if x equals r tangent 3 is a solution, then the other solution is just going to be pi plus r tangent 3. Make sense? Great. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Uh, don't forget to comment. And before I forget, here's the graph. Uh, okay. Anyways, I, I'm, I was trying to move the thing. But yeah, it's a pretty interesting graph. And as you can see, lots of lots of intersection points, obviously. And overflow from alpha gives something like this. What is that even supposed to mean, right? Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.